Folks, we're live here at Evolutionary Healer. Good afternoon. I am Terry Earthwind Nichols, Evolutionary TV's lead host. And I'm going to be talking here live today with Ms. Dionise Costa, a good friend, colleague, client, and fellow practitioner in repetitive behavior cellular regression. And uh, she should be signing on here in just a moment. So uh, in the interim, uh, DNIs and I know each other from clear back in 2013. And we met at a conference and um, she's gonna tell you more about that in just a moment. And so um, right now, uh, there must be some problems getting clicked on. So, oh, thank you, Rita. I saw it, see that you're on. That's wonderful. Thank you. Connecting. We can. We can. Hi. Okay, yes. Where there is a wall, well, there is a way. <laughs> yes, isn't it interesting? Well, we've started our live over again. So. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Dionise Costa, dear friend and colleague and, and client, and now fellow practitioner of the repetitive behavior cell regression process. Dionise, I'm just going to let you take it, take it over and tell us a little bit about how we started. I gave them just kind of a clue. Yeah. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just go from there, my friend. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, so I thank you, Terry, for being my mentor for, you know, showing up in my life when you did seven years ago, because I thought I was happy. <laughs> I thought I was successful. I thought I had built the life I wanted. Um, and at the conference that I met you, you know, I was already at that point where I was starting to realize all the things I had worked you know, since I was in pre-K <laughs> towards, um, wasn't what I wanted anymore. You know, I got, I got the achievement of it and then realized, oh, this isn't what I thought. This isn't fulfilling me. This isn't um, giving me the purpose that I thought. And it wasn't that it wasn't purposeful work. I was working on women's health issues, being a national advocate for, for women very much needed and yet there was something that just didn't click it, it just felt off in my life I had a partner things weren't great um, and no matter how much I tried figuring out well how to make it great <laughs> um, it wasn't working and I was kind of that that's I felt like a little bit of a deer in headlights if I'm honest um, and from across the room, I could tell there was just something different about that dude over there. <laughs> that dude being Terry over there. Um, and I really remember walking over to you and for the first time during that conference, feeling like things slowed down and I was finally grounded, like on earth again. Right, because in the wow. middle of so much energy with other people, you, you're kind of like on a, a, an energy high. Well, I came down from that and really felt my body. And as someone who's a sexuality practitioner, feeling my body differently in that moment, something, something woke up. You know, I remember you giving me a heart hug and I was like, wow, this thing is magical. <laughs> right and and from that moment till now I give everybody a heart hug um and I've seen the power of just that little bit that I got then and that little bit pulled my attention enough to say I need to figure out how to pay for this because at that point I was struggling I was forty thousand dollar income living above my means <laughs> you know, fresh out of college, fresh out of grad school. So a year out of it, I was really disappointed in that, like, oh, the job isn't sustaining me. And like, how can I 
do the work that I want to if I can't afford life. Right. Right? And I remember so clearly that you were like, if you're a yes, the money will come. And I was like, this, this whole crock of shit. <laughs> that was really what I thought in that moment. And sure enough, you know, I think it was like three weeks after the conference, I had my CR. Because, yeah, the money showed up. And I, can't, I still can't tell you how <laughs> the money showed up. But it did. It just happened. And it was the best thing that happened to me because I, I truly would say I would not be where I am today. I would not be in a place of power, in a place of fulfillment, in a place of happiness, in a place of wellness, had it not been for my repetitive behavior cellular regression seven years ago. And not just that, but the continual coaching and mentorship that I've gotten from you because I am a practitioner and not only that because this is lifetime guaranteed right the fact that this is lifetime guaranteed no matter how many times you you might think something's coming up just call us mm -hmm. I've had clients do it with me that they just call me and they're like D I just feel a little off and I'm like well let's let's check things out let's run the diagnostics right because we can run that diagnostics and tell people yeah let's get, get let's get back in there do another session and clear things out and that has been truly amazing and I can speak to that because last year I went through a trauma um, here in Atlanta and it did it triggered all of my early childhood stuff and what ended up happening is I hit low. <laughs> you know, the universe was like, you're going to feel it that you've gone out of alignment. And once I felt it, like truly felt it on every level, what did I do? I called you guys. You and Linda helped me out. And here I am in in. From December when we did that to now, in seven, eight months, I built a whole other business, a whole other two businesses. <laughs> you know, um, my health is better than ever. And it's because we just cleared out even more. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think that that's the beauty of this work is that Healing isn't just like a one-time thing. Sometimes you need to do it twice over, and that is the beauty of CR and how deep it is. I mean, I don't deal with surface-level crap anymore. <laughs> you know, it's like either something deep comes up or I'm good, I'm in alignment. And I think that having yeah. that, that space to breathe and be I'll yeah, pay man. a million bucks for it. You know, the, the post uh, CR process, uh, the three questions that we teach you guys, ever, I use it, you know, about when I get triggered sometimes. Last fall, I had a severe trigger. And for mm -hmm. about three to five seconds, I was in a near panic. And then mm -hmm. I went, what the hell are you doing? You created the stop all. Just mm -hmm. stop, ask yourself the three questions. I went through the three questions. Ten seconds later, I was completely out of it, right? And it's it's not rocket science. It's question and answer sequence. And and uh, thanks again for coming on here. What a powerful story and testimonial for us and what what we are doing. And and uh, Dean, for those of you guys that know, um, uh, Deanise helps, and I'm going to have her talk about it a little bit. Um, a lot of people with sexuality issues and 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 uses the, the CR process uh, to help them as well. But other things that she does do very, very well. Yeah. Well, Viennese is also our Spanish speaking CR practitioner. So if we get a request in uh, for someone to go through who English is a second language and they would be more comfortable going through in Spanish, we connect them with Viennese. 
we do uh, the CR practice is available in seven languages now. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, and here's a perfect example of one of those languages. So uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about your, uh, what you're doing right now. It's quite interesting. Yeah, so with Sexuality Power, my business, I have been really expanding what we consider our sexuality. Because, you know, people think sexuality and most people jump to sex. And that's just like 2% of it. <laughs> so I really try getting people to understand the other 98%. Um, and to see that how we live, how we breathe, how we exist has to do with, with our sexuality. Our sexuality is the first thing that we, the first way that we experience the world is through touch. The first thing that happens is someone touches us the minute we're born, right? Whether it's air. Uh, yeah, and I'd like to, yeah. And, and someone. You know, when we're teaching, when we're teaching um, uh, our clients about, you know, um, being present and, and memory recall and, and things like that, touching is so important. You know, yeah. feel yourself, you know, you don't have to touch yourself all over, but you can, you can simulate the touch of being touched all over by taking mm -hmm. a shower and mm -hmm. just enjoying the presence of it. So yeah, that's spot on. You're doing some yeah. great work. So a lot of it is um, around educating people around touch, the power of touch and healing, um, spreading the word about repetitive behavior cellular regression and the CR process being just life changing. Um, because I tell people, if you come to me, I'm going to I'm going to tell you what what is truly going on. And most of the time, people want to trim a bush when they need to uproot the weeds, <laughs> right? They're like trying to landscape and it's like, honey, you need to call the sewage company and tell them to come dig out some bad soil and, and give you some compost and like get this re-nourished. Um, so that's really, when it comes to sexuality, I found so like, I think eight, over 80% of people have some form of sexual trauma. Whether it's it was done physically to them or they witness it or the social context of the culture is, is where it's at, we all have some level of trauma around sexuality and expressing who we are through our sexuality um, and that being censored or limited or stifled um, at any given point, whether it was your parents told you you couldn't touch yourself or, you know, they said something at school about it that wasn't in alignment with who you truly are or you're queer and you know outside of the normative right if you're anywhere in the non-normative which I kind of fall on all of the non-normative you know points um it's very difficult so I I kind of help people through coaching and other healing practices including CR to really uh, reconcile those things and come back into who they are, fully express themselves in a way that's fulfilling and, and satisfactory, you know, like it satiates their being. Because I think that that's something where, where we have this like hunger, right, as, as humanity, like we hunger and we're used to that instant gratification, but that doesn't satisfy, yeah. that doesn't actually quench and satiate. So we're offering here something different that is going to satiate that thirst that you have for life, for love, for expression. Good, good. Yes, yes, yes. You know, we could, we could, we need a part two, I think, later on, because this is fabulous what you're doing. And, and here is what we do so marvelously. Uh, thank you very, very, very much for thank you. Today and Thank you for uh, all of you who popped in and out. I noticed a couple of did. And, and uh, please share this because we're going to share it to all of our places. And, and so if you see this on the recording, please uh, share it with people because, you know, there's something more to it than what we're doing here. Guinness, yeah. thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you, Terry, for having me. Okay, I love you all.
Okay, we do too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.